Hello everyone, my name is Arvindan. I am a software engineer at MathWorks. In this video, I will show you how to use the Simulink Test Code Importer to import and test C code functions. First, let's take a look at the custom code we want to import. Here I have a C function called apps difference that takes two integers u1 and u2 as inputs and returns the difference between them as the output. The header file contains the external declaration for the function. To open the Simulink Test Code Importer, go to Simulink Test Manager and click on New Test for CC++ Code. Once the Code Importer is open, click Start to begin the import process. On this page, specify the name of the output Simulink library and the folder in which it should be generated. Select Integration Testing option since we want to import a complete function that does not depend on missing functions or symbols. Next, we must specify the custom code that we want to import. Let's specify the interface header containing the external declarations and the source files. Now the code importer will analyze the custom code for functions, types, and global variables. After the analysis, all the functions found in the specified custom code are listed on this page. In the generated library, each selected function will be mapped to a C color block. Clicking Next will generate the port specification for the selected functions. This table can be used to view the ports of the C-Caller block mapped to this function. Now let's complete the import process. The library is successfully generated. We have a C-Caller block that is mapped to abs difference function. In the C-Caller block, the Go to function button can be used to see the definition of the function mapped to the block. The C caller block is also attached to an internal test harness. We can use Simulink Design Verifier to generate test cases for this harness. Once the test cases are generated, we can export it to Simulink Test. Now let's run the tests and look at the coverage report. From the report, we can see that we have achieved 100% code coverage. Let's try to use the code importer to import functions that use global variables as interface. This pattern of coding is mainly used in embedded programming. In the source file, I have the implementation of abs difference, which uses global variables as function interface. The function reads from the fields of struct global variable g instruct to compute the difference between them and stores it in gy. So we can see that g instruct serves as the function's input and gy is the output. The header file contains the c struct definition and the external declarations for the function and global variables. Now let's import this code using the code importer. After analyzing the custom code, the code importer detects the usage of global variables and displays this page. Since we are using global variables as the function interface, this checkbox must be selected so that global variables appear as ports on the imported C caller block. Let's proceed with the import process. Since our custom code has a struct type, this type is listed here. Abs difference function requires this type. Let's complete the import process. In the imported library, we can see that gInstruct is the input and gy is the output. Additionally, the type of gInstruct is a Simulink bus object. The generated library is attached to a Simulink data dictionary that contains the required bus object. By saving the bus object in the data dictionary, the base workspace is not cluttered. Let's use app difference in a simple model. Once the library is used, automatically the model is also linked to the data dictionary which contains the bus object. 
let's simulate the model. The simulation is successful and the correct answer is displayed. In the next example, let's use the code importer to import a function that depends on external functions. In this example, we want to unit test the functions in simple code.c in isolation. In the function absolute difference, the value for inputs u1 and u2 come from two function calls. Once the difference is computed, the output is set using the set output function. Here, get input 1, get input 2, and set output are three functions for which the implementation is external to the C file we want to test. These functions need to be stubbed. The function signature for these functions are defined in the header file simple code external.h. Now let's import this code. In the code importer, we must choose C code unit testing. Let's specify the source file we want to test. For the unit testing workflow, the code importer will generate a sandbox that will contain the source files being tested and all other dependency files including auto stubs. For this example, let's generate an aggregated header sandbox. The code importer has successfully created the sandbox. The auto-generated header file can be found in the sandbox include directory. The aggregated header file contains type definitions and symbol declarations used by the specified C file. Now let's look at the generated auto stub source. When the code importer stubs a function, values passed as input arguments are written to stubbed global variables. When the function being tested is mapped to a C caller block, these global variables will be exposed as output ports and their values can be observed in Simulink. If the function being stubbed has a return type, then the stubbed function returns a global variable matching the function's return type. This is a read operation, thus making these global variables serve as input ports on the C caller block. Now, Simulink signals can be passed to the block to emulate the auto-stubbed function's behavior. Let's continue with the import process. The library is successfully created. Let's look at the internal test harness. We can see that the global variables are exposed as ports. Using the two input ports, Simulink signals can be passed to emulate the behavior of getInput1 and getInput2. Using the output port, we can observe and lock down the expected values absolute difference should pass to the function set output. To summarize, we have seen how to import custom code into Simulink and test the imported code using Simulink test. Simulink test code importer is available from MATLAB release R2021A. Thank you for watching.